how to get out of a rut fast. Now, what what do we classify as a rut? Let's let's start there. And a rut can be, you know, since we're all different people, ruts can be different for each and every one of us, right? For some of us, a rut might be this huge financial spiral. For others of us, rut might be a challenge that we're facing in our relationship. For some of us, a rut may be an obstacle we have in our health. We might be bummed out about some news we got. And for others, a rut might just be our way of seeing the world. We might find ourselves in a rut because we're so fed up with the way things seem to be going. Now, what's important is that no matter where you find yourself or how what kind of rut you find yourself in, is to first acknowledge and take responsibility that your rut is your rut. Okay, what I mean by that is your rut is your rut. And that is crucial for getting out of it. So we're going to share four key strategies for getting out of a rut today. And the first one is own your rut. What I mean by that is nobody puts you in the rut. I get that life may happen. There's circumstances that happen. The dice may have rolled in an unfavorable way for you. I get that you may have been doing your best and it wasn't good enough for your job. I get it that life may not be as exciting as you'd like it to be or that certain things haven't worked out quite like you thought they would. But none of that is saying that you need to be in a rut. None of that is forcing you down in the hole, which is your rut. So your rut is your rut. And the first step in getting out of your rut fast is owning that your rut is your rut. Meaning it's your bed. You made it. You're lying in it. And if you don't want to lie in it anymore, you got to get up. When we blame other people, when we pass it on the responsibility to others, we'll never get out of the rut. Because that's putting them in charge of our life and making ourselves reliant on them to get us out. They have their own lives to live. They can't be standing around with some rope helping pull us out of ours all the time. And as much as we like to play the blame game when it suits us, it's really, really not going to help us at all. Periscope, I apologize. Periscope, I apologize. I just had a phone call come in. It's really not going to help us make the shifts we want to make. So if you want to get out of your rut, you got to own that your rut is your rut. Meaning you put yourself there and you and you alone are going to be able to get yourself out of it. Now, can there be other people, other resources that help get you out? Absolutely. But it's going to fall on you to engage in them and with them to be able to start that process of it. Okay. The next thing that if you want to get out of a rut fast is shift your focus. What do I mean by that? Well, many of our ruts happen because of where we're putting our attention to. As the saying goes, energy flows where our attention goes. And if we're focusing always on our problems or life being unfair or the craziness in the world or how some politician is saying this but doing that, if we always put our attention on these external events about all the wrongs in our life, then we're going to continue to get those results that those things are producing. Most of us who are in a rut are probably there because the things that we were doing aren't producing the results we want. Right? Anybody agree? I guess you can't raise your hand, but maybe if you push a heart button or you give me a thumbs up to let me know that you're with me on this. A friend of mine was telling me the other day and saying, you know, the difference between successful people and not successful people. I see lots of hearts on Periscope, so I'm assuming that means this is connecting with you. The difference between successful people and not successful boils down to one thing. Unsuccessful people will focus so much and so incessantly on small trivial, unimportant, minuscule shit. And they will blow it so out of proportion that they will make it a, they will ingest it like a plague into their life and it will topple everything else. Whereas successful people, whether they're successful in their business or successful in their relationship, whatever it is, they don't waste their time focusing on those things. They focus on what they can control and what's most important to them. You, you turn on the news and you see people up in arms and pissed off and angry about what? About these things that aren't even going on in their life instead of focusing their energy on their own life. If everybody, I would wager, would put more energy into making their own life better, we as a community, a global community, would likely make the whole world better too. But we don't. We focus on others. All of us are experts at times on how others should live their lives because it lets us off the hook from having to look at how we live our own life. Hmm. What would happen if we put that kind of attention onto our own lives? 
I bet you would make a big difference. Somebody just typed in being a victim. <clears throat> Another way to look at this is successful people will get resourceful. Victims will get resentful. Victors will get resourceful. Victims will get resentful. And ain't that the truth? A victim is going to be the first person often to fall, crawl down into their hole of a rut and stay there and blame the world, everyone, and everything else for why things aren't working the way they are. Now, if you want to get out of this rut, you got to shift your focus. You can't be putting your attention always on those things that are putting you in that rut. right? There are certain things that you're focusing on time and time again that are putting you there, and if you don't want to be there, light bulb moment, shift your focus onto something else. What would inspire you to be out of that rut? If you're in a rut with your fitness, don't focus on all the things that aren't working. Don't focus on how many ho-hos and ding-dongs you consumed last night or the bag of Doritos that's hiding under your bed just so you can snack at midnight. Focus instead on how good you're going to feel when you eat healthy, how good you're going to feel when you accomplish a workout. Focus instead on how it's going to feel when you go on vacation on a tropical island and you feel confident in your swimsuit. Focus on how good it's going to feel to be able to keep up with your kids and not have to stop because they're running around and you're huffing and puffing and you're wheezing so bad you're afraid you're going to have a heart attack because you haven't taken care of yourself. There's no surer way to put yourself in a rut than to focus on that versus focusing on something else to get you out of it. So the second thing is owning our rut. Second thing, first thing is owning our rut. Second thing is, is shifting our focus. The third thing, the third thing that we can do to instantly shift ourselves to get ourselves out of a rut fast is exercise. Exercise. So many of us find ourselves in a rut, and when we're in a rut, what is the language of the front rut? What is the posture of the rut? What is the physiology of rut? <sighs> right? It's literally like Eeyore. Anybody ever seen Winnie the Pooh? Does Eeyore ever look like he's having a good day? No, Eeyore would be the prototype for what we'd say is in a rut, and what it usually is. When you ask Eeyore what's going on, what does Eeyore say? Oh, don't bother, right? No worries. Don't worry about me. I'm just poor or Eeyore. Those of us who have ever Eeyore-esque our life and acted in a way that seems to be putting ourselves into a rut know that we usually, we usually adopt that posture, that physiology, that breath rate, that kind of tonality, all those types of things. People who are in a rut are typically holding themselves down there, and when you're exercising, it forces you to physiologically shift yourself. It is going to be virtually impossible to be Eeyore when you're doing a sprint. Try it. And if anybody can do it, please record a video and prove that you can do it, and I will stand corrected. But to my knowledge, and that's with experience of working with over 4,000 people from all over the world, I have yet to see somebody who can sustain an Eeyore-esque attitude or focus when they're exercising and they're sprinting or they're doing push-ups to failure or they're they're doing jumping jacks at top speed or any of those types of things. You see, <laughs> you're hilarious. You know what? These things just come to me. I'm making them up. <laughs> These, and thank you for appreciating my humor. I think in my head, I think, oh, that's really funny. And then I always worry that I don't see fun, laughy face emojis because I'm thinking, uh-oh, did everybody else just think I'm nuts instead of funny? Anyways, I, I digress. I've yet to see somebody be able to sustain an EOS kind of approach in life if they're doing those types of things. You see, physical movement is going to shift your body around. It's going to force you to tap into new, new levels of 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 something special. Your 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 special stuff. It's going to produce positive hormones and positive chemicals in the brain. It's getting endorphins moving around. Right. All those types of things will happen and help shift you out right away. Exercise is going to be the, one of the key ways to do it. And even if it's just standing up and jumping up and down in place, that's going to do it. If you don't want to jump up and down, sitting up tall in your chair and pushing yourself and trying to tighten your stomach and flex all the muscles in your body, it's going to be really hard to be your when you're sitting there going, Ugh. if any of you have ever watched professional bodybuilding, and if you haven't, you can watch the recaps of Mr. Olympia from a few weeks ago. Do you see those guys when they're up there flexing all their muscles and all that stuff? They're not eeyoring it because there's so much blood being circulated in, in through the body at that time. You can't eeyore. You can't. Now that doesn't mean you need to go up and have a Mr. Olympia level physique to be able to accomplish this. Not at all. What it means is you can get up and do something for yourself. And if you're too lazy to get up, which might be part of the problem why you're in a rut to begin with, 
you can do something right there. And doing it from right there will make you... I remember watching a, a video, an interview when I was a little kid. I'm one of the professional wrestlers at the time. Yes, I was a professional wrestling fan when I was a kid. And they were asking him, how do you stay in such good shape with all the travel you do? And he says one of the things he does is he does all sorts of stomach work, stomach flexion, isometric work while he's traveling on a plane. So the whole time he's in a plane, he's doing these little micro sit-ups. I thought, how brilliant is that? He's using what he has. And what that means is, is all of you could do the same. So if you find yourself in a rut and it's not conducive to jumping up and down or going for sprints, do what you can with what you have where you're sitting right now or where you're standing or where you're lying or whatever it is. You see, exercise doesn't mean you have to go to the gym. You can exercise your mind and be creative enough to get yourself moving. Doing something will shift you around and you'll be amazing on what a difference it makes. And the fourth thing we have, so the first three things we talked about. We talked about owning your rut. We talked about shifting your focus. We talked about exercising. The fourth thing we got for you today is if you're not able to shift yourself out of a rut doing those things, or you want to get out even faster than those things, or you find certain things in life continue to bring you back to a rut, you got to get a mentor, you got to get a coach. Why? Think about this. If your car breaks down, what are you going to do? Are you really going to go and spend all the time, energy, and resources, and money trying to figure out how to become a mechanic? Likely no. Likely no. What you will probably do instead is go and hire a mechanic, somebody to fix it. If your plumbing breaks, are you really going to go and figure out all you need to do, look into becoming a plumber, put on your Super Mario hat and your Luigi scrubs, and do, 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 go down and fix it yourself? Probably not, unless you're so Nintendo, you have so many Nintendo skills that you can play the game and do what they do professionally. What you're going to probably do instead is hire a plumber. You see, mentors and coaches come in all sorts of forms, and what they are in our life, they are people who are experts in their fields who can help us shortcut and get through and save us the headache, the time, the energy, the money, and the hassle of trying to do it ourselves. We utilize their services every day, and tragically, the area that we should probably use it in the most in, in our own personal development, our own happiness, our own joy, our own fulfillment, our own success in life and in business, we often don't. Instead, we do this and bang our heads over and over again, trying to break through these walls, only to encounter another one afterwards. Hmm. It's amazing Mario didn't get a headache breaking through all those bricks. Mentors and coaches in whatever area it is in your life are going to help you get the results you want faster. And if you're not getting where you want to get as fast as you want to get, I encourage you to get somebody to help you get there. Because they are people who have a proven track record of getting results and of helping somebody get from wherever they are to wherever they want to be fast. I tell you this right now, your life is way too precious to squander more time not getting the results you desire. It's just not. It's not worth it. Could you figure it out yourself? Yeah. Could you go and learn how to be a mechanic? Absolutely. Could you learn how to be a plumber? You bet. Could you learn all those things? Absolutely. And what's your time worth to you? How long are you going to do that? Every day I talk with people who want to build their businesses, who want to change their lives. I'll ask them the same question. How long has things been this way? Six months, a year, a few years? Great. How's that working out for you? Not too good. How much longer are you going to keep things this way? A lot of times people make a lot of excuses to keep things, as that, keep things as they are. And it's tragic. Because they're robbing themselves of so much joy, happiness, fulfillment, and success in life. You want to make a change in life? You want to get out of a rut? And you want to get out of a rut fast? Hire somebody to help you do exactly that. Hire somebody to help you do exactly that. Now, for those of you who are interested in working with me and having me help you do that, I'm going to put a link on this post whenever I can get it to pop up on my, my page. And it'll take you to an application form to fill out to work with me and we can set up a consultation to talk, with it, talk about doing this. I'll also post it in the comments here. A note for this. This is only for those of you who are really serious about making improvements. I have limited time to work with people. The consultation is going to be free. And if you and I are a good fit, we will be an opportunity for us to work together. You will have to invest in yourself. I'm not going to lie. This is what I do professionally. And if you work with me, you're going to have to invest in yourself. And I promise you this, that if you invest in yourself, we're going to be able to get some results. But 
you have to be willing to take that step. So please do not imply unless you're serious about really fixing this and getting and making changes. If you're not, no hard feelings. If you are and you don't want to work with me, do all these things that we talked about. Or if you want to work with another coach and not me, no offense, reach out to somebody in your local area and utilize their services. Okay? So what we got today, four things to help you get out of a rut fast. Number one is owning your rut. Remember, nobody puts you there but you. And if you try to blame, play the blame game at other people, you're going to find yourselves always in this chasm, this underending chasm of a rut. You will not be able to get out there. It is not other people's responsibility to sit around with the rope waiting to pull you out. It's your job. You put yourself there, and I get that life may have happened or whatever, and if you want to get out, you got to be willing to pull yourself out. Number two, shift your focus. If you're focusing on the things in life that put you in a rut, guess what they're going to probably do? They'll probably keep you in the rut. However, if you decide to shift your focus to something else, things that are going to help bring you out of the rut, guess what might happen? You'll probably start to come out of the rut. <laughs> and really, think about this. I mean, we can laugh at it, but you all deep down know it's the truth. You all deep down know it's the truth. It makes absolutely not one little bit of sense to focus on staying in the rut and doing those things over and over again. Right? It's a definition of insanity. Those of you who are parents and have kids, if you didn't want your kids to get burned by a stove, would you tell them, hey, keep staring at the flame and keep touching it? Probably not. Instead, what you would likely do is tell them and help them shift their focus on other things to make sure that they will be able to learn, make sure they'll be able to evolve. So shifting your focus will help you get out of the rut fast. Number three, exercise. Right? Remember, people who are in a rut usually adopt almost an Eeyore-esque approach to life, an Eeyore-esque mentality about life. And whatever part of life that is, or whatever challenge or obstacle they're facing, or whichever area of their life they have gotten into a rut in. And exercise is one of the surest and fastest ways to get out. Remember, my challenge extends to all of you. If you can prove to me that you can go at an all-out sprint and still be Eeyore, please take a video and post it, and I will personally stand corrected. But again, Having worked with over 4,000 people from all over the world in more than 30-some countries and I don't know how many states, I have yet to see somebody who can maintain Eeyore-esque rutness when they're exercising. Now, lastly, all these things may shift you out fast, but they may not leave you with permanent shifts, and you might find yourself stumbling back into rut. The one way I know as sure as can be to keep you out of the rut fast, but permanently out of the rut, is work with a mentor or coach. Again, remember, we're likely utilizing the services of these types of experts in any part of our life. If our car breaks down, we go to a mechanic. If the plumbing's not working, we hire up, we call up Mario and Luigi. If we need to get our hair done, we go to a hairdresser. If we need you know, help planning an event, we go to an event planner. You see, we use these people all the time, but tragically, the area we fail to utilize them the most is the most important area, and that's ourselves. Right? There are people out there with so many skill sets and expertise to where it can help you make shifts in your life and catapult you from where you are to wherever you want to be. Now, again, I made this special offer for those of you. If you'd like to have a free consultation with me to talk about working together, I'm going to put a link in the comments here as well as in the description for this on Facebook Live. That means Periscope, you're going to have to hop over. And again, please only apply to this if you're serious about making changes. If I feel like we're a good fit and it would be a good opportunity for us to work together, I'll make that offer to you. It will be a financial investment. So if you're not serious about making the shift and working with somebody like myself, you know, no, don't apply, no hard feelings. Or if I'm not your cup of tea, I get I may not be that way. Look into hiring a professional, a mentor, a coach in your local area and let them help you get out. Because I promise you this, life is not meant to be a struggle. Life is meant to be a joy. Life's meant to be fun. Life is meant to be fulfilling. It's meant to be happy. You are born to be successful in whatever area and aspect of your life you choose to be. It's not meant to be a struggle. And if you're struggling, if you're in a rut, you gotta ask yourself, do you really wanna get out of this? And if you really do, how far are you willing to go and how committed are you to getting out? Because when I, the way I look at things, when it comes to getting out of a rut, I see one of two paths only. Either, and it's, these paths are black and white, and it makes my life extremely simple. You're either fully committed to getting out of the rut, and you're going to do whatever you need to do to get out, or 
you're fully committed to staying in the rut and you're going to do whatever you need to do to reinforce the story you tell yourself to stay in that rut. Black and white. There's two types of people. People are committed to being in the rut and people are committed to being out. And if you find yourself still in a rut after this and doing those things, you got to ask yourself, which kind of person are you? There's no shame in being a rut, being in a rut, but it is tragic to remain in a rut when you know you can get out. All right, that's what I have for you all today. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening, watching, all the hearts on Periscope, all the thumbs up emojis, hearts on Facebook Live. What questions do you have? I have about 10 minutes or so to answer questions, which I'm happy to do so. If you have questions about this specifically or something else, I'm happy to answer them right now. So what questions do you have? This is your time. Thank you for being a great audience. Will you still be here if we can't hire you at this time? I will still definitely be doing these. I My intention is I fully get that not everybody may be able to, may be ready to work with me at this time or may not be willing to make the commitment to make it work for themselves. And my intention is to still do lots of cool things like this to hopefully offer some value to you all. And the offer to work with me in a coaching program or to attend an event of mine or another program I offer is for those of the those of you who are really ready to take that next step and, and go to that level. Otherwise, I'm going to be keep doing these. I love doing these kinds of things, and I hope you all enjoy them too. What other questions do you have? Questions about this? See some trickling hearts still coming up in Periscope. Thank you. Oh, now there's some more hearts. Periscope, I love the different colors of them. I wish Facebook Live would give you the little colors so you could see the different ones floating across. Any questions at all? We've gotten shy. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Jesse is worth the money. He got me out of a black hole after my mom died. Oh, thanks so much, Gail, for saying that. I appreciate that. And it was an honor to be able to work with you and watching you transform that was that was powerful i still i often reflect back to that and have happy tears in my eyes every time really remarkable thank you for sharing sharing that and i'm so happy to see that you're still out of your black hole and you're living life in a different way gail incidentally posts some amazing step totals tool too in the in different groups when she has her her, her fitbit on I'm, I'm continually impressed by her amounts of steps that she accumulates do you have to have Skype or Periscope to have a session? No, Periscope is not needed. Skype absolutely is. Skype absolutely is. What other questions do you have? I wish this would pop up on my page so I could post the link on there right now. I don't understand why it's not doing it. I'll figure it out. Love your posts. Awesome. Oh, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I think I kind of blended two words together there. Any of your questions or comments? Has this been helpful for you all? Yes? Thumbs up? Hearts? Has it been helpful? Oh, I see lots of hearts going up in Periscope. Okay, cool. That makes me feel good. Thank you so much. How much what, Sasha? How much what? Oh, I see hearts now on and thumbs up on Facebook Live. Yes. Loving this live chat. Me too. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful you're here. I really enjoy it too. This is probably one of my the things I look forward to most. What am I, periscope or what? I'm not sure what that means or what you're saying. What am I, periscope or what? Any other questions? We got about five more minutes for questions. <clears throat> and then when I'm done, I'm gonna figure out, try to find where this post is so I can put the, the link for the application to meet with me. And I'll, again, I'll put it on the top of the post on Facebook and I'll put it in the comments as well. For coaching, it depends. It really depends on what program I feel is the best fit for somebody. I, it's 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 definitely and whenever and here's what I would suggest too.
a lot of times people will make a decision about working with me based on cost. And I think that's one of the worst decisions somebody can make because in doing that, they're focusing on a dollar amount versus and negating the cost of an impact something has in their life. Most of us let ourselves off the hook way, way too much and don't look at how much it costs us to re let things remain as they are or unchanged, right? So what I mean by that is you think about if we just look at our focus on ruts, what do you miss out on by being in a rut? What do you, how does it affect your friendships, your relationships? Is there a dollar amount you could even assign to those things? Most of those things I think that these things affect us with are probably quite priceless to us. And if push came to shove, we would likely give anything and everything to it. But most of us never put ourselves at that level of accountability. So yeah, you definitely, we definitely have to talk about that and see. And I would encourage you to really weigh out things in the terms of what it costs you with things as they are. What's your view on network marketing? You know, it depends. I think there's a lot of potential in it and I think it really works for some people. There's a lot of people out there who are really successful that do it and do it often. And if it's something that speaks to you, I think there's a lot of potential it could give for a certain quality of life, a certain lifestyle. Do I do it? You know, I, I've thought about it and I've explored it. And if I can find a way to make it fit with my business, I might be open to it. And I'm still trying to figure out what that sweet spot is for it. I recently got out of a rut by quitting a job and getting a different one and much happier now and making my decision. I heard your voice in my head. Why are you so miserable at your job and what are you going to do? That's awesome. Congratulations. I need to know how much to rob from the bank. <laughs> All right, we have time for one more question. One more question. Anything else? And while you all are typing that last question, any of you who are joining me this weekend for Unlock Your Greatness, I'm looking forward to meeting you on Friday. It's going to be two amazing days. For those of you who aren't, who aren't I hope that you'll be joining me in the future. Also, just one other quick note. Healing from loss should be available. I've had a lot of requests for that. And I should be, it should be up and ready to go by the end of this month. So look for healing for loss. If any of you are struggling with moving on after a death or a breakup or something like that, this is an awesome course that I put together specifically for you. I don't see any other questions. So we're going to end it there. Thank you, Periscope, so much for being here. Thank you, Facebook Live attendees for being here. Again, if you're interested in taking advantage of the offer, I'll post a link at the top of the Facebook post once I can find it. Excuse me. And I will also post it. I will also post it in the comments below as well. I hope some of you take advantage of this. Again, this is only for those of you who are really serious about getting out of your ruts right away. If I'm not your cup of tea, please find somebody else. And if you're committed to staying in your rut, I would encourage you to look at what that costs you to stay in your rut. And I would be amazed to find anybody who could really justify it. Because, again, from working with 4,000 people from all over the world, there's some nasty shit that goes on in those ruts. And life definitely doesn't have to be that way. All right. That's it for today. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, an awesome night, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for all the hearts, the interaction, the thumbs up, the emojis all those types of things and that we saw floating across it's been a joy it's been a joy spending this time with you and i look forward to doing this again next week oh next week's facebook live we have ask jesse on monday at 11 40 a.m pacific time moral of story at 11 a.m pacific time and we will be back here thursday october 13th at 4 p.m pacific time on and we're going to be talking about how to believe in yourself how to Believe Yourself next Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, Facebook Live and Periscope. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.